I can't emphasize enough um, the importance of what the house and what you have done for my life. I want to say thank you um, for, first and foremost, for putting up with me. I was, I was broken when I first came here. I, I, well, you saw how I was. I was, at, I was at rock bottom. I was at rock bottom and... Hi, my name's Steve Horn. Um, I'm one of the elders here at uh, Emmanuel, also part of our care, uh, care for the city and um, team. And my privilege today is to get you guys to meet Darren, who has been in one of our friends first houses. And I uh, just want to get to know him a bit, let you hear his story. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I mean, firstly, you, you, <laughs> I remember you've You've been in this building before at the Clarendon Centre, but I have. It's, it was quite a thing to come in this morning, wasn't it? So. Yeah, it's, um, it's kind of surreal, really. This is the first time I've come back to the building since I've went through the programme. So um, for me to, to come back after nearly two years to the place where my journey began, it's, um, it's, it's really humbling and it's kind of surreal, really. Um, even to the guy that opened the door, what was his name? Mark. Mark, Mark was the man, the gentleman that introduced me to Rob to start the whole process of, off. So um, that's the first time I've seen him since as well. Yeah. So it was him that started the ball rolling for me to, to, to get on the programme to, to sort my life. And um, yeah, it's, it's, even being here now, it's, 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 it's wonderful. <laughs> that sounds a bit soppy, but um, it's just, it's so nice to come back. Nice. Um, yeah, it's amazing. I was amazed to see your face and you just look, because obviously we ran the night shelter downstairs and I remember that's the first time I met you was at the night shelter and, uh, yeah. you know, where you were then and where you are now is amazing. So obviously the thing we want to talk about today a little bit is obviously you were in our friend's first house. Yes. Uh, our gift day is going to be about um, raising money uh, to support that stuff. Um, and um, it just... Um, yeah, I suppose just to give us a little bit of a taste of what life was like before you came to the house. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be brief. Basically, in a nutshell, um, I was living my life in London. Everything was good. Um, all of a sudden, out of the blue, my mum died. And then um, two weeks after my mum died, one of my partner, my ex-partner and I, our, one of our babies died. So, um, the only way I can describe it really is I sort of, I think I had some sort of breakdown, I think. The grief, losing my mum alone was just devastating. But then to lose one of my babies two weeks after, I think I had some sort of breakdown and I just fell away. And I ended up homeless. So I was in, homeless in London for about two and a half years. And then I eventually came to Brighton to do a film for one of my friends, because I'm an actor as well as everything else. And then I came to Brighton to do the film. Um, and then still homeless at the time, and I've never left. So I was still homeless in Brighton as well, and then got introduced to you guys and then went for the, went for the cycle and the programme. Right, so yeah, so we asked you, you want to come and live in our house? In nice Our city. friend's first house. Yes. <laughs> so what's the house meant for you? Oh, the house. In a nutshell, the house saved my life. It's, um, first and foremost, it gave me a place of safety. You know, I'm, I can look after myself, but um, when you're out on the street, um, you know, especially being on the street in London, you have to, um, I was always sleeping outside, obviously, but with one eye open, um, you, you can never relax because you're always aware of your surroundings and you can get attacked or whatever. So first and foremost, the house gave me a place of safety. I felt safe um, and then, the period I was in there on my own, it gave me a good few months. It was about four months before anyone else moved in. So it gave me that time alone with God again. I needed that that period of time with God for God to um, reach me again. It's it's um, it's been it was amazing. The house is amazing. Uh, 
I struggle to express myself when I think about the house because I'm just so grateful for what it's done. It's, it, it, it's the house has saved my life. So what, what about the house? Obviously a house is just a, a bit of brick and, and some windows and a door, but what, what was it about the house? What was around the house or what that was so important for you? Well, first and foremost, this is, the house is blessed. It's, um, that, that house is anointed. You guys have anointed that house. From the time I went there, I felt safe, I felt calm. I could feel God's presence. Um, the house is lovely. The appearance of it, the, the, the house itself, the space, the appearance, everything about it is just, it's a, it's a wonderful building. Um, I've got an ensuite bathroom. My bedroom's absolutely fantastic. I'm spoiled coming from the street into a bedroom that's got a, that's en suite. You know, I'm living like a king right now. But I know the house is, it's just, it's just so, it's just so wonderful. And the dynamic of having other guys in there now, how's that working out? How's that work out? Obviously, everybody's different. Yeah. Um, and I'm a person, I, I like my own company. Being on my own is not a problem. But I'm just grateful that when I first went into the house, I had like three to four months on my own. I needed that time on my own to um, just to regroup, to to get my foot in again, um, to get a firm foundation. So I had like three to four months alone with God, building my relationship with God again. Then guys started to come in. We've had a couple of guys come in and leave, but it's, they've been replaced. But um, yeah, everybody's different at different stages in our walk with God, um, which is nice because, you know, Everybody, nobody knows everything. So it's nice to be able to um, impart with um, other gentlemen in the house about God and we can all speak about God and interrelate. And I've been working with a few of the guys as well. So yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice balance. We all get on, it's, it's nice. I get a sense you've actually at different points really been a blessing to one another at times. So. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. See, God never makes mistakes, we know that. Yeah. And God puts people t together for a reason. And at different seasons throughout the house, we've all needed something from each other. Yes. And I said to the guys in the house, I said, listen, I don't care who's been walking with God the longest, whatever. There's something I need from you. There's something you need from me. There's something we all need from each other. And as time's gone on, we've discovered that we've, you know, it's been times we've separated to do our thing, but we've always came back to each other and we've all interacted with each other and God's, done his work in all of us Yeah, yeah. at the same time. Because, you know, you're not always going to get on. Sometimes they've drove me crazy. Sometimes yes. I've drove them crazy. But, you know, what God says, a house divided can't stand. You know, I, he's used all of our different characters to mould yeah. and shape us. Iron sharpens iron. And there's been times, you know, it's like you, you have to go through stuff. Yeah. But as a unit, we're solid. Yeah. I mean, I know, I know everyone's a Christian there either, is it? So it's like, um, mm. but uh, yeah, I mean, I've loved watching the community. I've loved seeing you grow. I think um, myself and Rob just loved journeying with you in it. Um, so what, what, what do you think, again, just having that time in the house, having, having a home? Yeah. What, what does that now mean for you for the future? What? Ah, oh, it's, it's given me a firm foundation to step off. Um, it gave me time to, like I said, first and foremost, to regroup, but initially to establish an intimate and covenant relationship with God. That was the, the most crucial thing. I was a man of God before, obviously, but um, the house has given me that time to, to, to get that intimacy with God that I really, really needed. So I'm, I'm operating now from a, a firmer base. Yeah. So now my future is it's bright. My future is lovely. It's given me an opportunity to get back into work. Yeah. So it's gone through the process. I'm back in work. Um, I'm working with my pastors. I'm working with you guys. I'm going to be mentoring again, um, gang members, um, homeless people, everything that I've gone through. I'm now going to be working with other people that have gone through issues that I have, which is, um, which is the blessing really. You know, at the time, obviously I've gone through some stuff, but God showed me why he took me through those things for me to be a blessing to others, to help pull others through that are going through the things that I'm, I've gone through. At the time, I didn't get it, but now I get it. It's fantastic. Yeah. And um, what's the next step for us at house for you? What are you looking for next? I'm, I'm at the stage now where um, I'm ready for the next step. 
for me to be on my own in in flat, whatever, um, studio flat, whatever comes up. But I'm I'm at that stage now where I've gone through the season of being with others. Yes. But I'm now at the stage where God's taken me to the next stage. Yeah. Me stepping out. Yeah. Um, on my own, but having the support network of you and Rob and the church um, around me as I make that next step, the transition. I think that's important for me to take that next step, but to have my support team around me, which you guys are, I think it's going to be crucial for me to continue walking my walk. So, yeah, I mean, you're stuck with me now. <laughs> I said before you're stuck with me, you, you can't shake me. Fantastic. It's great, mate. I think what is interesting, having you come through the house, I think it has shown us what it means. Um, yeah. It has been such a privilege to see you transformed, uh, being more of who you are, which is great, having the confidence, the, yeah, I mean, and, and pursuing the talents and, and being more clear again, I think, of what God's called you to be and do. And yeah, um, it has been a real privilege. Um, um, yeah, it's just really exciting that yeah, as you said, we don't have to say goodbye, but we yeah. carry on the journey with you as well. So, yeah. uh, great. No, I, I can't, if I if I can just quickly, before we wrap up, I, yeah. I can't emphasize enough um, the importance of what the house and what you have done for my life. I want to say thank you um, for, first and foremost, for putting up with me. I was, I was broken when I first came here. I, I, well, you saw how I was. I was, at, I was at rock bottom. I was at rock bottom and... Even now, just thinking back again, even now just being here, it's just like, I remember what I was like when I first walked into this building. I was, my life was over. It was busted, disgusted. Couldn't be trusted. I was done. And, um, you know, you, you've, you've walked with me through my journey and you've... You and Rob, you were like my buffers because I couldn't do it on my own. And you just, I was walking and God was dealing with me, but you were, I knew you, you were both beside me. And um, you've just walked out my journey with me and you've, you've seen me go from where I was to where I am now. And you know, I can't thank you enough because I couldn't have done it without you. I, I, I couldn't have done it without the program. If there's anybody that is going to be watching this, that is going to be going into one of your homes, or thinking about, or even hesitant to do it. You know, I, I am living proof and a testament that it works, that your program works. I am living proof of the fact that it works and I can't thank you enough for seriously, for, for being there for me. You, you saved my life. You saved my life. Yeah, Truthfully, it sounds soppy, but it's the, it's the truth. You know, I feel, I just, I feel so blessed to have you and Rob and, and, and this church in my life. Like I said, God doesn't make mistakes and he's put some good people in my life. I've left the old life alone, that's gone. Yeah. But God's opened up doors and kingdom connections and, and he's given me a new life and he's put you people in my life for a reason. And um, I just look forward to working with you guys in the future and just walking, just building the kingdom alongside you guys. I can't wait. I'm so excited for the future. You know, I've got a future back. Yes. And you've, and you're a part of my future. So onwards and upwards, onwards and upwards.